Hello everyone, welcome back to Molly's Cozy Kitchen. Today I will be showing you how to make homemade Thin Mints. These aren't a perfect copycat recipe, but they're pretty similar to Thin Mints and they taste incredible. Now, let's get started. You need one ounce of melted unsweetened chocolate. If you don't have any, you can just make your own. First, melt one half a tablespoon of coconut oil, or you can use canola oil, and then add to that one and a half tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Just mix it up until it gets to a pretty thin consistency that looks, you know, like melted chocolate. And then so you have that all mixed up and ready to go, you can make your batter. Beating one stick of softened butter until very creamy. You can use your hands or a stand mixer or a hand mixer. Then add in your melted chocolate plus half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of peppermint extract, and an egg. I'm not adding the peppermint extract to this batch because my brother doesn't like mint and he still wanted some cookies. So I'm making plain chocolate cookies for him and then dipping them in the mint for my family and the rest of us. All right, once it comes together, it's fine if it's separating a little bit, it'll all come together, you can add the dry. So start by adding one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then vigorously mix together with a stand mixer, hand mixer, or just a uh, human power. All right, once your dough has all come together, you can wrap it as a disc shape if you want to cut it out and roll it into shapes, or you can roll it into a log for uniform cookies. The work surface with powdered sugar so that the dough doesn't stick and either roll out your disc or cut your log into quarter of an inch thick cookies. Once you have all the cookies cut out and they're nice and on two baking sheets lined with baking parchment, poke them with a fork so they get those little holes that actual Thin Mints do have. This may take a while and they may stick a little bit, so just be careful and try not to tear the cookies. You also don't have to do this, but you know, just for uh, realistic sake, I'm doing that because Thin Mints do have little holes in them. Bake the cookies in a 375 degree oven for eight minutes, flipping halfway through. Meanwhile, we can make our glaze. Add one teaspoon of coconut oil to a cup of chocolate chip cookies and also add in a quarter teaspoon of uh, peppermint extract. Microwave in 30 second intervals, stirring in between until it's fully melted. Now it's time to dip the cookies. This is so much easier than coating the petty forest, which we did in last week's video. Just take the cookies and dip the top of them in the coating, the mint chocolate coating, and put them back on the baking sheet. Make sure the cookies are fully cool though because otherwise the chocolate will not set up. This makes about two dozen cookies by the way, but mine made a little bit more, depends how thick you cut them. All right, uh, and you can chill them in the fridge for a few minutes to, uh, to set them up or keep them in the freezer. But as you can see, I'm packaging some up for uh, my friend, my neighbor who lives down the street. Uh, I thought that would be a really sweet treat for her and she emailed me saying she loved them. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. You can visit mollyscozykitchen.com for all the recipes. And thank you so much for stopping by.